Hey, it's Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and in this episode, I'm going to be customizing these two 69 Camaros from Hot Wheels, and kind of going with a Jekyll and Hyde type of build, hence why I'm doing two of them at once. So yeah, I decided to go with doing two at once because I kind of had two ideas on how I wanted to do them, and I didn't know which way, so I decided to do both. Um, obviously I've taken them apart and drilled them, cleaned them, stripped them, and I've got the wheels kind of set out. One's going to have chrome, the other one's going to have black. The, the one that I'm going to call Mr. Hyde is the one I'm working on right now. And what I want to do is I kind of had this vision of stacks sticking out through the hood. So I'm drilling out the holes for where the exhaust or intake ports would be. And I'm going to end up sticking some ferrules in there as exhaust ports. So I think that's going to look pretty decent. And then each one of the cars has these, um, I don't really know what they are. Uh, if it doesn't have a carburetor on it, I get a little lost. So I'm going to call them uh, exhausts, I don't know, whatever they are. I'm porting them out a little bit, just kind of making it so I can put... Um, a little bit of a black wash inside of it so it's a recess and I'm just using my Dremel tool and kind of going in and, and just without hitting myself trying to go in and hit, and hit those um, just to kind of give it that little bit of realism for whatever the hell it is and I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments and I look forward to it so I'm also going to be using those same ferrules for exhaust tips but I wanted them recessed as well, so I'm just using my Dremel again with a boring bit just to kind of file down and allow them to sit in there semi-flush. I'm just using a piece of tubing right now just to kind of get a rough idea of how deep I need to go. And the other thing is, is one of them I wanted to have a wing, and the other one I wanted to have a spoiler or a smaller wing. At this stage of the build process, I wasn't 100% sure on the one that wasn't going to have uh, a big spoiler what I wanted to do, so I'm starting to trim it a little bit. Spoiler alert, I do end up trimming it all off just because I didn't like the way it was looking. And sometimes that's, you know, it's easier to take a little bit off and then be able to take more off later than to take too much off and then you're kind of screwed. So. Um, you know, my goal was is to take some off, then I was going to fill in the, the holes in the trunk for where the spoiler was. I'm using this epoxy sculpt, which is a two-part um, epoxy, uh, obviously a, a regular, and um, a hardener, equal parts. It gives you some flexibility as far as, you know, uh, you get time. It's not like it's going to harden right away. It takes about, uh, I want to say six hours. I let it sit overnight uh, only because that's just me. Uh, but you could just let it go for a little bit, maybe maybe six hours, and it'd be definitely workable. And if you wet your fingers and you wet it, you, you can definitely sculpt with it for sure. Um, I'm just trying to get it in the little nooks and crannies and make, make it easier for myself when I do go to sand it. Just kind of smoothing it out here. You can see I'm using a little bit of that water. And I end up going all the way to the end of the deck lid which allows me to, you know, at the time to grind away a little bit at a time to fit what I had left of the spoiler. But I end up, again, uh, pretty much not using that at all. So I left that alone and I didn't have to sand everything. The wheels I picked were uh, like a direct fit. I mean, they were, they were perfect. They were the right width. They were the right, um, they were just everything. So I'm going to paint the bases with the Splash Paints Absolute Black. I know the, the chassis is black to begin with, but it just looks better. It doesn't look plasticky. And this um, Loctite Tack, it's like the 3M stuff. It works really, really well. And I use that for painting a lot to stick parts to crap. So it's, it just makes things easier for me. Um, here I'm just going to put a little bit on the on the base where the interior sits. Nobody's going to see it anyways. And again, black is black. I just don't like the cheap plastic look. Uh, the paint makes a big difference. And even though it's going the same color, it's just it just takes that 
plastic shine, I guess you could say, off of it. So that's why I'm kind of doing that. And I'm just using the splash paints because of the base coat, clear coat. And I'm just not going to clear it. So it'll have a nice semi-flat look right off the uh, right off the airbrush. So here is where I realized that I really don't want those spoilers at all on this one. This, again, is the Mr. Hyde car, I'm going to call it. The, the one that's going to be with the big spoiler is the Dr. Jekyll one. Again, yeah, I just do that for my own. <laughs> my own, uh, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool. But here, I'm just going to start whittling away and sanding the spoiler area. And I end up going a couple different routes on this. And this, I, I am horrible, absolutely horrible at sculpting. And I end up sculpting a spoiler that goes all the way across the rear deck lid. And it just never looked right. And I just didn't, I wasn't happy with it. Um, so I'll end up making one out of styrene, just a really small one. And, you know, it's just one of those things I'm going to have to, you know, just get some bare castings and, and just do a lot of practice. I mean, the sculpting stuff, I mean, I got enough to last me a lifetime. So it's not like I'm wasting it. I just, I, I watch those guys um, like uh, Jakarta Diecast Project. I mean, they're, they're sculpting. I mean, they could sculpt small babies. I, I just, I can't make a spoiler. I, I have no idea. Um, I've got all the sculpting tools and, and the files and sandpaper and sanding sponges. I just suck at it, so... But it's good to know your weak points, so that's definitely my weak point. And, you know, I never really cared about the the, the wide fenders and, and that kind of... I'm not doing Toyotas and, and Ferraris and Lamborghinis um, where I'd want a wide-body kit or anything like that. But it is something that I've been avoiding and I need to work on. So it is what it is. So here I'm just kind of um, making room for these wheels because when I popped out the other ones, I didn't have to bend the tabs. I just popped the wheels out. Um, but, you know, these are these are nice. Like I said, the the Dr. Jekyll has the chrome rims, and the Mr. Hyde will have the black ones. Um, again, I just thought it would separate the two, and it was kind of the overall look I was going for anyways, which was more of a dark, but not too dark on the... Um, on one of them, and then the chrome was going to offset the brighter color of the Dr. Jekyll car. So, so after that, I primed everything. I masked off a little bit on the grill for for one car. Everything has got the Mr. Surfacer 2000 gray primer, I think it is. Splash paints. I'm using the bright red. That's going to be on the Dr. Jekyll car, and then I painted the liquid gray on the interior and then i'm going to do the opposite on the other car i'm going to paint that one so that's the sculpted um as i'm trying to show you upside down the what i was doing and it just i didn't like it so so the cars are reversed one's red with a gray interior the other one's gray with a red interior and then the windscreens have a molded in spoiler off the back window so i kind of prime those and i'm going to paint those the liquid gray on both cars then it's just up to detailing and the details on these cars are you don't see a lot of the interior um, just because the windows aren't that big but um, it's kind of important so i just want to make sure i get all the um, the stuff that's going to be seen and it makes me feel good and it gives me good practice to get a lot of the, the fiddly fiddly stuff on the interior that's really small um, it just makes you feel more confident going in and if you have to do any kind of really light brushes actually on the body like your door handles or anything like that it, it, you just build up a little confidence and you're not shaking like a dog shitting razor blades it's you know you just kind of work at it so i'm doing the backs of both i'm going to do you know all the the grill all that kind of stuff and just hit the details that I think are important that are going to be seen or somewhat seen and it's just one of those you gotta take your time really you know this isn't the phase where you want to rush things in a, in a project as much as you want to get it done you know you've got stuff painted you know you get ready to clear you can start to see some progress everything's looking complete you know don't don't skimp out you're customizing cars you know 
the the Hot Wheels castings the, between the chassis and the bodies, there are details molded in. So it doesn't, you know, some of them are worse than others, and some of them are really good. But you might as well accentuate what you can, because that's just good practice, in, in my opinion. I'm not telling anybody what to do. But if I'm going to go to the aggravation of stripping and painting and, and putting on uh, custom wheels and, you know, it, I might as well just go the extra step. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And that way it's not just painting a wheel swap. You know, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just I am I like to keep pushing myself and not that painting little details is pushing myself. But, you know, it's just a it's a habit and it's a habit I want to keep and not you know, get lazy and, and, and just kind of skimp out on it. So, but that's me. And that's what's great about this hobby is everybody can do things their own way. Uh, for me, I'm just always trying to push myself to do different things and get better. And, you know, most of what I do is just for inspiration for others. And I enjoy the creativity aspect of it, but I certainly, I hope that when I, I'm done builds, somebody can look at the stuff I've built and say, wow, yeah, that's a great idea. I could do better. <laughs> but, I, you know, that kind of sparks something in me. And that's, to me, the only reason that I actually record any of this stuff or take pictures or anything is, you know, for people, I get a lot of messages. And, hey, that inspired me to, you know, I've got a couple of these castings sitting around my house. I've been kind of contemplating what to do. This kind of gave me inspiration to try something. And that's kind of the whole point of this. So, um, you know, I'm not trying to be the greatest uh, customizer in the world. That's just, that's not in the cards for me. I'm too old for learning too many new tricks. So um, the only other thing I did different is on the... Uh, Mr. Hyde car, I actually kind of ground down. They have like a wire molded in. I painted it on the Dr. Jekyll car, but on the Mr. Hyde, I actually kind of sanded it down a little bit, drilled a couple holes, and actually put a real piece of uh, wire. It was out of a uh, Cat 5 cable, so it's real small, and uh, kind of emulated what it's supposed to be. And again, just hitting all the details on the different, different castings. I've used this in the past. This panel line is this stuff is outstanding um i've used i think i've used null oil from citadel in the past as a black wash this stuff is just it's, it's night and day um it just really it's like it knows where to go <laughs> if that makes any sense at all and it just just sits right in the in the recesses like you want it to and it's easy to get off the areas you don't want it on if it doesn't um if you know it's before it stains it's actually real easy so um and this probably lasts me for forever so i'm real happy i i made the leap and and picked this stuff up i'm real happy with it so um i've also been using uh, army painter paints um, i do have my citadel paints most of them are pretty old uh, nothing wrong with them. I just I'm happy with the with the army painter stuff. I can I like the bottles. I like being able to um, thin it down easier than I can with the citadels. It flows better. The pigments seem better. Overall, I'm much happier with them, and the price difference is minuscule compared to the citadel. So, and they have a lot to choose from. So you can buy different kits or buy them individually, and. So far, I've not been disappointed with any of the ones that I've that I've picked up. So that's just what I've been doing. And, you know, again, how far you go with these is on you. I tend to go a little too far sometimes. I'm painting stuff that's like underneath the chassis that you're, you know, or underneath the interior piece that's going to be sitting on the chassis. Uh, you don't have to go that far, but... Um, Sometimes I get into it and, you know, I'm painting everything, you know, I'd paint the dog if it walked by. So it just, you get into one of those, one of those moods. So, um, but we're almost at the phase where I'll start to, um, do the reveals. This was one of those projects that, you know, I just had to do both. I, I wanted, I wanted to do it both ways. So, and I could, I literally couldn't decide. And, and I just thought doing them both in the same in the same video kind of made sense. You can see the spoiler for the Dr. Jekyll one right there. Um, that's going to go to liquid gray as well. So 
you know, uh, a kind of a mixed match of both cars. There you can see everything all laid out before before clearing. Um, it's just this was just such a fun project. I'm, I'm so glad that I decided to do both because I would have been kicking my ass for not. There I'm getting my clear coat ready. But as usual, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to get notified of all my videos. Um, I'm going to be doing a podcast coming up, and it's going to be a series, a custom die cast. I got two ones to pick from for a design. If you guys like A or B, let me know in the comments down below. And here is the final reveal. You can see the, the ferals on one of them. I know it was real quick. It's coming back up again um, and with the real wire. I know it's orange, but um, this is pretty much what I ended up with, and I'm real happy with them. Pictures don't do them justice because I can't take pictures for shit. But this is what I got. I, guys, I, just, I hope you guys like this. Um, let me know down below, and I will see you on the next one.